What is going on guys, Rainback, and I want to bring you guys some good war gameplay. Uh, sadly, we were going to get killed regardless in this war, um, and I kind of wish... So, if I were to use my, like, my A-team for these battles, which I did for the first two, if I were to use, be able to use my A-team, I'd probably have been able to get 15 coins, but because I wanted to record this, and I was out last night doing some crazy shit, um, I didn't record the battles early, and I want to make sure that I could do them again. Um, so I didn't get all my attacks in the right way, so I'd use my B team. And you guys don't care about watching me use rares, which I, which I actually did use for one of my battles. Um, but I want to show you guys at least a few quick tips uh, while we're doing this. And we'll just touch real quick. Uh, this was like a top two, top one. I think it's like 131. So you can see right here, uh, just the top team right here. Two 120s, Kaliak and Vata Magma, both have level 7, 8, and 10 speed runes, and then speed uh, team speeds on the Vata Magma. And the number two team or number two team had level 10s on his Ingval, on his Ingvar, and then a Vata Magma that was 130. So I did not think I was gonna outspeed them. I probably could have if I ranked up my Nishans and used the right team speeds, but I'm in the process of doing that right now. So. I took on number three, I think. Yeah, this guy wasn't, he wasn't that tough. And this is something I've stressed before. Do not put three t three lives on your Oros because he will not be able to do anything. If he doesn't get his turn in to make himself Juggernaut or um, give himself the regen or whatever he needs to do to get his attacks in, he's not very useful. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. I don't know if I picked this. this I just kind of, I was like feeding up here and giving different runes so I could use team speeds. Um, this is what I did. So, everyone knows uh, Afuichis is like one of my favorites, if not my favorite epic in the game. Um, Patreon, you guys saw the video. He's awesome. I love this legend. And then I used team speeds on my Ingvar because his Ingvar had level, I don't know why he put one level 9 on his Ingvar. Um, but I wasn't too concerned about going first, but a little bit nervous just because Ingvar uh, is a legend. So I was able to land the double possession on a Fuiches, and at this point, I knew I was fine. wasn't worried about Ingvar or the other Ingvar. Um, and at this point, once I can get those those two out, um, all I wanted to do was land some DOTs on Oros, which is what you have to know how to, you can't go into a battle having just attackers against Oros because you might run out of time if you don't have the right runes or you don't know how to handle everyone but Oros. Um, so I think I was trying to figure out which. DOTs I was going to be able to run um, and I used the I forgot I used the wrong stupid attack first I think it was because the other ones were um, obviously you're getting less damage from light um, so what did I do I just kind of wasted some time um, here I'm just going to land some more DOTs because again this is a two turn possession so I'm not worried about Ingar for the next turn so I landed Nightmares so, uh, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean is just perfect for fighting you can't play this is 170,000 health Oros and I had no problems with him at, at all um, of course Patreon's awesome and he's doing some massive damage over there uh, but look right here okay so right we'll just show you where's the original okay so right here he gets in his first attack and again Oros is defense so why would you put an offensive move on him that's an offensive move dumb move um, so sure that's why he was on there um, and then you'll see here after he gets this attacking because he's still possessed I have at least what you'll see here look at the top you see one two three of my, all my team gets the first turn in and then uh, two of them get a second turn in before O's gets his second turn a uh, third turn in the second and third turn in at this point I'm just throwing DOTs on him he's gonna die um, I'm not worried about it. even if I hadn't done this next attack which Patreon is a freaking monster this is at a hundred with uh, one level a level five and level six strength. I mean, look at that, fifty-five thousand damage. Um, but I'll show you guys exactly what I mean about the don't run three life runes. He has to get his attacks in, which means you have to be able to. I just recharged here, so the DOT is adding up on the side here. We got fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand, thirty thousand, uh, fifty or thirty thousand, forty-five thousand, fifty-five thousand. What was the last one? Was it eight thousand? Uh, so it's like seventy thousand damage. And, and again, yes, he was he was still confused, but 
if he if you give him no time to get his attacks in, he can't do anything. So again, one life is probably enough because DOTs are just going to end up adding up for him anyway. Uh, so that was a nice easy attack, and then I think I picked that, that wasn't really a hard opponent, um, but the top two were just they were just too tough. Um, this is a good opponent right here. Some level sevens on his Ingvar, some sevens on his Kaliak, and some team speeds. So, what was I running? Oh, my Nishan's really fast. Um, he's got obviously the possessions. Uh, so I just wanted a little bit of team speed. I knew that that Ingvar um, and Kaliak were probably not too much faster, or too much faster. No, they're not faster than my Nishan's pet, but um, with the team speeds on Greedy. It would have been closer if my uh, Nishan's pet wasn't 105. So I got an extra team speed there, so I will be going first. I wasn't concerned about it. Uh, it was just a matter of who was going to get their attacks in next. After that, see, was just, there's my rare. Um, and here, I just have an idea. Nishan's pet's going to go first. Balgar can give um, precision, double damage, and some stamina regeneration or something like that. So as long as I landed those moves, I was going to be in the clear, had no problems. Uh, with the precision that I had, I was going to be able to probably one hit, I think I one hit the team. Um, so that's obviously a great thing for Greedy because he's in so many books uh, to have a team speed on him. And I think I should rank him with a 110 because we got him from the, the maze was the free one. Uh, where is it? Okay, so this should be enough. I don't quite remember. Cool. Yeah, so easy attack, easy three coins. And again, I, this is where I started having to use my B team. I'll just show you guys. I don't, I'm not going to make you watch it. Um, what was my B, my first B team? Right here. Okay, so. No, that wasn't it. Who did I use? Right here. Terrible idea. <laughs> um, Griffin is not much of an attacker. Uh, and my first intention was if I can stun the other enemies, um, well, not Metalhead itself, but if I can stun the other enemies, I wasn't going to be too concerned. I think I missed my first attack. Either way, it just it wasn't a good attack because, um, oh, no, that's what I did. I, I don't even remember who I had here. So <laughs> something I didn't think about, I thought Lilisha for some reason had the skill set of um, the one that has the possession and gain an extra turn and another possession skill either way I made that mistake I possessed metalhead thinking that he would run the stun all and he didn't I think and then from there it was downhill so I, pos I possessed yeah I possessed him but then he didn't use the stun all he used the burn all I think and then Ingvar just cleared cleared everything and I went in again this is my this is a B team uh, Kaith is not, Globrush isn't, but I didn't have a Denier, so I was kind of in a bad position. So, uh, I'll bring you guys more in about two seconds when I switch, I gotta grab the other video. So we'll be back in two seconds. And we're back with a little more war gameplay. Uh, this is just a couple other things, uh, just some tips that I was wanting to show you guys. I don't know what this guy was doing with his runes. Do not run stamina runes on anyone that is not Volt or, um... Xyla, I guess you could run it on Bull Ray, but do not run stamina runes. You guys do the one one one, and then X rune tactic to change these runes. You have a level five, throw in three team, throw in three team speeds or just speed runes, and you have a chance of getting a level four or level six or even a level five of whatever those other three runes are. The level ones, do that. Don't use your level five stamina for. Don't don't even put them on your ledger. Okay, so here. I was not at all concerned about speed because I knew he had shit for legends. He had good legends. These are good legends. Shit for runes. No idea what he's doing. So, coming in with my 105 Vap Whirl, who no one, back in the, the Fire, Fire, Fire Wars, there is no denier. Now there is. There's a Nemesis monster, but there is no deniers for the Fire category. But Vap Whirl actually has an AoE stun. So, he was actually my primary uh, legend doing the stuns that um, I was able to run into so I, I just want to show you guys this really cool gameplay I want to throw it in here um, I think again look at this look at these health here we got 42,000 and 40,000 um, I made them all weak to fire I believe and then what else did I do here
Easy crossing the bridge, bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. I wasn't concerned. Look at that, 17. How was I only? Oh, 1,700 damage because you can't do anything with fire attacks. And and he, I don't, I don't, I don't know if any of these have attacks, like strength runes. This idiot just had a whole bunch of stamina and life runes. And then we got the <laughs> the AOE stun. Look at that. How easy was that? And on a vap, on a goddamn rare. So take for granted that your rares can be supports. So if you rank up Vap World like I did, you have an you have a fire legend that has a stun, which is awesome. Um, and this is just me going through like the top teams. Uh, number two actually was tough. Uh, I know I wasn't going with my A team against number one because it was the worst team. I don't know how it was number one. Uh, taking the Nagursus and then my Dragontium. Did I take Dragontium and Greedy? So. Here we got a level 100 greedy that's got, uh, he's definitely going to go first. And that wasn't my concern. My concern was the strength up here on Dragontium. He's got a life rune and a level 7 strength rune. So as long as my Agursus could go before him, I, my main concern, because I couldn't get stunned, greedy has the one stun, but he can't stun my Agursus, so I wasn't concerned about that. Is this where I went in? Okay, so yeah. So Greedy did his attack. This is where I'm like, okay, he's probably gonna do the AOE stun or the AOE stamina leak or the AOE burn. Okay, perfect. Wasn't worried about him. Now I don't know. Did I go after stun? Oh yeah. See, I went right after. You always want to be most concerned about who's gonna hurt you the most. That um, Dragon Team could probably take out a legend by himself. Um, and then we got Vesuvius. This was perfect. I'll show you guys how awesome Magursus is. I hope you guys were able to get him. He is a great legend. I've loved him and used him so much. I used him in almost all these attacks uh, for fire. And then I just did the AoE. I don't remember which one. AoE Stamina Leak? Yeah. I was going to do the AoE Burn, but I knew it wouldn't have killed uh, Darmouth or Greedy. Um, went up for me again. He's got the life rune, a little bit of strength. There's the extra damage back to him, and then Darmouth can do whatever he wants to do. <laughs> he did his super. He got sixty-eight thousand life left. It can do twenty thousand, and guess who's getting probably a little more damage back to him? Forty thousand. Okay, so uh, there's just that. Just, just no. It's it's good to know. It's good to know what you're up against when you go into battles, what enemies have as far as their runes go and as far as their movesets go. You have to know who's the who's going to go first, their denials. You don't have to use a calculator to do all this math, um, but it wouldn't be bad to know what the enemies are immune to. Um, sometimes, say for the fire, uh, Shalinar is immune to stun. Obviously, Agursus is immune to stun and freeze, but you don't have to worry about that with the exception of that world. Um, but it's always nice to know going into battles what kind of team you've built and how you can play those advantages to your three coins so hopefully this was helpful to a couple people i maybe i'll add a little bit more to this i don't know how long. i don't want this video to be forever so give me two seconds i'll look through another uh war gameplay see if i can get anything more helpful from another couple of things i recorded so two seconds last but not least we got a little bit of uh one of my least favorite books it's like probably second to the i hate the wing book is the this was a while ago it's the spirits book um but i saved it because i wanted to talk about something i'm sure uh number one what do we got here who did i go after first um uh, i'll just speed up a little bit hopefully i'll find it wasn't a bad team i mean that this is so this is wait where's stop this is my team uh you can see i'm running a 110 egg eater a 105 glitch with a 100 noctum with all team speeds this means that no one on their team was going to take me on knowing that they would go first because I don't think any of their legends had this types of um, this type of speed and I think I might have, I definitely ended up with 30 coins this this team wasn't that bad this team wasn't tough um, so here again stamina rune why why are you running a stamina rune it's not a bolt it's not Xyla what are you doing uh, who do I use here okay so again here we have oh, here we have uh, we have okay so I bought an extra egg eater because I love egg eater immune to possession and it's a great legend that I have an, an extra one for because of the team speed that was just one of the great skills and what you want on a legend that you have team speeds on are some skills that you can run that will support your um, the rest of your team 
So, I believe I might have... Okay, so what am I doing here? So, Glitch is immune to possession. Egg Eater is immune to possession. And both of them are going to go before my my Egg Eater could have went. I was going into it knowing this, but I wasn't too concerned about, I think, any of them but one. Um, and remember that Glitch's attack... Uh, or, yeah, no. Our, yeah, Glitch's attack... Glitch uh, bypasses possession immunity. So, I possess his Glitch... And he went after, ooh, yeah, he went after his own team, froze, egg gear. Don't know why he's got a life rune. Um, and then I think I just went after who I thought was most concerning to me. Uh, right? No? Uh, yeah. Al Albert, I think, might have had a strength. I don't quite remember. Either way, I wasn't too concerned at this point as long as, yeah, I just kind of wore him down a little bit. I had some DOTs. He's still frozen. And then I took out the glitch. Again, didn't even get touched yet. Oh, no, but he get, I didn't get touched. Who touched? Oh, yeah, you got that attack in. Um, but then I wasn't too concerned. Uh, next, what was my next? Um, was this a bad choice? Okay, so this was this was another good opponent. This opponent had some level, level 9 runes in there. Yeah. So uh, I went after the stun, and of course... This, this might have been a bad attack. I think because as soon as I missed that stun, I was in a bad position to take some hits. Um, yeah, there's 10,000, 20,000 20, damage. I got one of them. But uh, Pinky Flash has one great attack, but she's got to be she's got the double damage skill, and then she can use Jumping Hands. It's like a 50 damage AOE special base, which is, a, which is super high. It'll wipe any team. It'll wipe this team. I guess they have life runes, so maybe not completely wipe them. Um, so I think did I go after Scar? Was I? I was concerned about Scar because I think he was the one that. Yeah, so I was just trying to wipe him out a little bit. I gave double damage to my Tempest, and then this is where I might have went wrong. Did I go after the wrong legend here, or did I just go for the AOE blind? See, I, sh I think I should have killed Scar here. I don't think I did. Yeah, see, I should have killed Scar here. Yeah, see, that's what... I think Scar was the one that has the strength rune. I think her and Luck. I should have just killed Scar knowing that he was my main main problem. Instead of trying to blind them. Um, but here I wasn't too concerned, I believe. Yeah, my, my Lux has team speed, so I knew my Tempest was going to go first. But there was just some really interesting runes. It was just a bad decision on my part. And here, Pinky just ended up finishing off. I lost the one, but I, it wasn't too bad, I guess. Uh, who's my team here? Uh, here, this is, this is, I don't know why I went with this team. Uh, I have an AoE Possess and then an AoE Stun, but I have no power here. I think because I wasn't concerned because the only strength that this team had was a Duchess with a team strength rune. Uh, just choices, guys, choices. AoE Possess, and then I just gave them damage. They'll attack each other. More possessions, just burn them down, wipe them down. I don't know if I got attacked in here. Stun them all. There's some more DOTs. Still not getting touched yet. And then game over. Well, well, hopefully you guys got a little bit of advice. Um, just knowing how easy it is for me to take out enemies that usually have life runes. If you run life runes, at least run like a, a if you run, you can run a well-rounded team just don't run a legend with two or three life runes. There's no point. Um, Oros is the exception. You can run one, possibly two. Just don't run three. He's got to be able to get his attack, his his skills in. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video. Um, if you guys like war gameplay, tell me. Like, I, there's a couple people that like it, but I don't know how much you guys like it. So, if you want to see other stuff, the analysis, the books, the legends, uh, tell me because my so I don't have that many people that you know comment, but I love comments. I love hearing what you guys have to say. So let me know what you guys want to see and I can bring it for you. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you more in the next one.